Hello, I'm Pastor Jeff Carlson of the First Presbyterian Church of Battle Creek. Together with my colleagues, Pastor Pat Weatherwax, Music Director Jody Manlow, and Video Editor Sandy Carlson, we are putting together a series of weekly videos entitled Worship Moment. These will include an inspirational hymn, prayer, scripture, and a brief message. We hope you find these videos to be a source of encouragement. May grace and peace be yours in abundance. Our help is in the name of the Lord, creator of heaven and earth. Grace to you and peace from our God who was and is and ever will be. Let's pray. Bless us, O oh God, with a reverent sense of your presence, that we may be at peace. May we worship you with our whole mind and spirit wherever we are. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hello, church family. This is Jodine. Welcome to my house. And this is Max the dog. He sits at the piano bench with me all the time. So I doubt he'll move in this video. So we want to worship God together. Let's sing and let's lift our hearts to the Lord. This is in our new hymnal, the Glory to God hymn book. Number 353, My Hope is Built on Nothing Less. Sing it with me, would you? Thank you. 
sight all nations rise and fall and pass through times of peril now our whole world is struggling with the COVID-19 virus be especially near as we look to you for hope and strength and wisdom may our leaders be led by your spirit's power may they search for your will and see it clearly if we have turned from your way help us to revise our ways and repent Thank you for your amazing grace. Protect those who must work in places where they are in danger of becoming ill while they're caring for others. We boldly ask for your intervention in this crisis and your grace and peace for us to take each day as it is, not as we wish it would be. Give us all your light and your truth to guide us through Jesus Christ, who is the Lord of this world and our Savior. May we be united in faith with all your creation, remembering that you call us to love our neighbors as ourselves. So we pray with disciples around the world. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Reading from Psalm 42, verses 10 through 11. As with a deadly wound in my body, my adversaries taunt me, while they say to me continually, Where is your God? Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. The psalmist is in a fearful situation, but he also knows that unless he names his fears and turns them over to God, his faith will remain paralyzed. Fear is a universal experience. It refers to feelings of intense anxiety or dread in the face of danger. And certainly the COVID-19 pandemic can generate such anxieties. But the Bible also uses the word fear in another way. The second use of fear describes a kind of behavior where we allow something or someone else to control us or at the very least hold us back from doing what is right. So there can be fearful feelings, but there's also such a thing as fearful behavior. The first is natural, but the second is avoidable. In 1933, at his inauguration, Franklin D. Roosevelt said, in what is now an off-quoted line, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. I think President Roosevelt was using the word fear in this second sense. I think the American people were being told that there's no need to be paralyzed in the face of their challenges. In a sense, Roosevelt was saying, don't let your enemies or your problems determine who you are and what you value. 
the Bible says, do not be afraid, it means the same thing. Now, it's normal and even healthy to have fearful feelings in the face of danger, but we're still responsible for our own behavior. Courage means taking action and doing what's right, even though we may be afraid. It is the opposite of fearful behavior, even though it may well include fearful feelings. As people of faith, we need to be prudent without also giving in to fear. We may have to practice social distancing, but we never need to distance ourselves from our faith in God. For a time, we may not be able to gather together in the same building to worship, but there's nothing that can ever sever the spiritual bonds that hold us together in the body of Christ. In order to master our fears and anxieties, we need to remember that God is bigger and more powerful than our problems. God created the universe out of nothing, brought forth an entire nation from a barren womb, rescued those same people who were in bondage using a powerless fugitive, and resurrected Jesus from a lifeless tomb. This is who God is and what God is like. Do you know of anyone in the world, friend or foe, who can do what God can do? This is the same God who promises to never leave or forsake you, who did not withhold even his own dear son from you, who redeems your life from the pit, who forgives and forgets, who says nothing in all of creation can separate you from his love, who will restore to you the years of the locust, who will give back a hundredfold whatever you lost in this life who will someday change your corruptible body into that which is incorruptible, who offers you fullness of life now and in the world to come, life without end. If you want to live a life that is not controlled by your fears, then do not credit your enemies or your problems with more power than they really have. And remember just how awesome God is. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus our Lord.